Hello everyone, I'm here to do an updated review on the Photo Ready BB Cream by Revlon Skin Perfector in Shade Medium. And I did do a first impressions video on this, so check that out. You get one fluid ounce. This is $10.99 at drugstore.com and at most drugstores. I know it's $8.99 at Walmart. Drugstore.com was having a 15% off. I'm not sure if that's still going on. So that's something worth looking into. I got this for $6.54 because I had a $2 off coupon and then I had 20% off on my wellness card at Rite Aid. I was willing to spend a couple extra dollars actually at Rite Aid because if I didn't like it, I would be able to return it. But I ended up getting a really great deal on it especially for one ounce. I know the NARS was 1.18 ounce for the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, and that's $42. I'm not sure if this lives up to all the expectations and benefits that a BB cream is supposed to have, the skincare benefits and anti-aging, but I can tell you this is an awesome tinted moisturizer, which was exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for a dupe for the NARS Pure Radiance. My shade was St. Moritz Medium 1. Spot on perfect shade. Loved everything about that tinted moisturizer. And I just didn't want to shell out $42 for it because, yes, I used it a lot this summer, but I just recently started using it again now, and it's not like I've been using it consistently. It's empty already. And I didn't feel like I got my money's worth. I didn't think I got a lot of product for the money, but I really like the product. And I recommend it. If you have the extra money or during the friends and family sales at Beauty.com or Sephora, 20% off. That's actually how I purchased it through Beauty.com. So I was looking for a dupe. I did some research on some BB creams and tinted moisturizers at the drugstore. And I thought that I would like this because I'm already a fan of the Photo Ready products by Revlon. I was looking at the Maybelline BB cream. It's a very popular and it's one of the more affordable BB creams. It's about $6 and some cents. It's a big hit, but I've read some hit and miss reviews. I've read where it's very, very sheer and where it tends to get oily. I don't want something completely sheer. This gives me just enough coverage to even out my skin tone. It does cover flaws and imperfections. It does a really good job of covering, actually, and it just looks really natural. I wore this for a half a day on Saturday and all night. I wore it Sunday, Monday, and today, Tuesday. I'm happy with it. The first day, I didn't set it with anything. I did use the Studio Care Blend Press Powder by MAC. I was using that, and I used that today just because I like a little more coverage for work. I also used the MARC Magnificent Powder to set it with. It's an oil-absorbing powder. And I'll talk about this in a little bit as well. Just because I like the extra coverage. Today I did have to blot about halfway through the day, but that's the only time I had to blot. When I wore it by itself, I didn't mean I mean I didn't have to blot. So just putting that out there. I do recommend this for all skin types. If you're super, super oily, you may want to go with something like the Garnier Oil-Free BB Cream. That one is for oil control. Or else go with an oil-absorbing powder, such as this or the MAC Blot Powder. Other than that, it's an amazing product. I love how natural it is, or how natural it looks, how it makes my skin feel really soft. And I really, really like it. I have sensitive skin, and it did not make my skin react in a negative way. I know I had bad experience with Maybelline products in the past, so that's why I tended to shy away from that. This product was fine for me. I will continue to use it, especially for the price. Once it comes to summertime, I may splurge and end up getting the NARS because I love it, but maybe this will turn out to be a permanent replacement for the NARS. And the NARS Pure Radiance 
It's a tinted moisturizer, but it has a lot of the skincare benefits and the broad spectrum as BB creams. So I highly, highly recommend trying this out. It's an awesome tinted moisturizer. And I want to touch on the matte, on the MARC mattifying powder. It's magnificent. My shade is light to medium, and it's still a little bit dark on me. Mind you, in MAC Studio Care Blend Press Powder, I'm medium dark. In this, I'm light to medium. I've tried medium in the past. It was too dark, too orange. This runs a little bit orange, and it makes me look like I have a little bit of a suntan, which I like. But I'll probably have to try it in light. In MAC, I'm NC40 or NW40, depending on the foundation. In Matchmaster, I'm shade 5. I'm golden tan in the CoverGirl products. For reference. 5.5 in the Urban Decay Naked Skin. And go back to this. This definitely runs dark. If you have very fair skin, this isn't going to work for you, unfortunately. And this is affordable. It's $14. And you get .35 ounces. I know the MAC powders are like $27, $30. So it's a steal compared to that. But if you have very fair skin or very cool skin, it's not going to work for you, unfortunately. Back to the BB cream, I want to touch on the fact that these shades run dark as well. This is shade medium, and it's pretty spot on for me. A little bit dark and a little bit warm for my skin tone, but it works. I think I can even go with a light to medium as well. I did read reviews and a girl was saying she's NC40, she had to wear this in light and was complaining about how dark it runs. It runs dark. In the MAC Studio Moisture Tints, I wear shade dark. So if you have very fair skin, this may not work out for you, but I would suggest going a shade down. Like if you're NC40 and MAC, light, medium, medium, even light may work for you. That's something to keep in mind going a shade down, but because it's semi-sheer, if it's a little bit too dark, it's just going to give you a nice sun-kissed look, which is great getting ready for summer and spring. But I love this product. I will continue to use it. I give it an A plus for Revlon. I love it a lot, and I didn't even think that I would. So... Actually, I thought that I would because I'm already a fan of the Revlon Photo Ready products. But because it's something so affordable, I wasn't sure if I would, especially compared to the NARS that I love so much. Sorry, NARS. This might be replacing you. Go ahead and leave some comments and video responses. Let me know what your favorite BB creams or tinted moisturizers are. And you if you have any questions at all, leave me a comment below and have a great day.